Ciao Vajera, Martina here and welcome to another one of my crazy endeavors where I find something I desperately want to have and then try my best <sighs> to make it. It's pretty simple. I want myself a full body fantasy armor. To be able to make a full body armor, I basically need a template of my entire body. And to do that, I'm gonna need some help. I need your help. Wrap me in cling film. And tape. Makes sense? Makes sense. This is some okay. sort of weird fantasy. Wrapping like one of your friends, girl. Will this video be monetized? There is no space up here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> I just need a, a pen. And I have to draw on myself. And I need a mirror. I, I haven't solved this through. <laughs> Stick. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> this is my body. Weird. Okay, people, we're back in the basement where I apparently belong. <laughs> you know what just occurred to me? You guys have actually no idea whether this is really the basement. I mean, this could be the attic and I could have been lying to you this whole time. This template is based on this design that I drew. I'm gonna make a paper template out of this first before I destroy my very, very expensive leather. So let's make a paper template. Okay, everyone, there is someone I want you to meet. This is Stacy, the newest member of the Nerdforge Corp. She, she's kind of shy still. She'll warm up to it, don't worry about it. She is going to help me a lot, probably, with this project, because right now I need to test fit this. I kind of need to see how these two will fit together properly, and she's just the right person for that. We're gonna be good friends, you and I, I think. Let's test this. Let's just tape this paper template that I just finished to the mannequin. Of course, it's gonna fit a bit differently on me, but it's gonna give me an idea anyway of how, how it's gonna look. And the back. Oh my God, they look so good together. Oh, Stacy, girl, you look good. Holy sh I'm gonna be a warrior. Well, not a real warrior because, you know, I can't fight. I can look like one and that's all you need, really. So I actually think we could just pick this apart and transfer all the patterns over to the leather. Still nerve-wracking, but oh my god, this is gonna be great. Let's move on. <gasps> there we go. Three millimeter vegetable tanned leather. Daisy, you can't be standing there just staring at me like this. I'm gonna have to move you to the corner. Sorry. Leather time! Woo! Okay, so I just wanted to give a quick rundown of what I've done up until this point. So I used a box knife and a hole punch to cut out the patterns and the holes. And then this edge beveler to make some rounded edges and a burnishing tool to make those rounded edges nice and smooth. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this groover and a swivel knife to make some more interesting patterns on the leather. I have been blessed 
by the presence of Astrid and we got her a collar with a cute little bow on it and it's just the cutest thing ever. I'm now finished making all the patterns on each of the leather parts. Nothing super fancy because if I do like fancy detailing I don't think after I painted silver it will look like metal. I don't know it just in my head it makes more sense if it's less detail when it's trying to imitate metal. But now I have to start molding these to fit my body and to make the booby cups boob shaped. <laughs> so I'm just going to apply some water to the leather to case it, make it moldable and then shape all the individual parts. And then I think after we've done that, we can try to do a test fit with rivets without fastening anything, just to see that it all fits together and like make the final straps and stuff molding. Let the puzzle begin. Oh my god! And this is just the back, like this is the simple piece. I love it. I love it. Mm. Look at this! <laughs> this is the easy part. Like now I'm just I'm really crossing my fingers that the booby cups will fit together because those are the most complicated shapes. Let it be that I have actually done this correctly. Rivet and leather gods, be with me. Will they fit? Or will they not? Whew, okay. One piece. So far so good. Oh, hell yeah! And I mean, the other one should fit just as good because it's basically a mirror of this. So let's put together the other one and the rest of the front. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> this is freaking so goddamn cool oh my god and these two hold on when this is painted silver <gasps> i just did a quick test fit of this in front of a mirror just to make sure that everything you know still fits and it does looks nice it looks fantastic actually <laughs> but it was kind of hard to keep both the pieces in place and just holding them there without the straps that are actually going to put these two together so i think i'm just going to do that now and attach two straps on either side of these two and then when i have those in place i can strap it on and adjust the shoulder straps after. Finally, <laughs> we got all the straps in place, so now I can actually wear this as I would the actual armor piece. <sighs> Please don't fall apart. Uh, I'm stuck. I can see myself in the viewfinder. <laughs> oh my god, this is the coolest thing I have ever made. I feel like a total badass. I mean, it's a little stiff, but less stiff than I, I anticipated. Like, I feel like I can move fairly freely. Now I just need uh, pauldrons and bracers and tassets and gorget. We've barely just begun, basically. Let's make a full body armor. Ah!
it's been seven days, ten days, I don't know, somewhere in between. <laughs> but I mean, definitely worth it. Oh, and uh, just as a little side note, the shoulder designs as well as the legs were inspired by Prince Armory, who makes just incredible leather armor tutorials here on YouTube. So after you've watched this video, check him out because it makes some really cool stuff. But now what I gotta do is I have to take all of this apart again because we're gonna paint everything. And I gotta be careful about this because I don't wanna mess up where all the pieces go. So I have a bunch of containers over there to sort everything. So when it comes to painting leather, it's not necessarily so straightforward. <laughs> we have tried so many different types of silver paint. I feel like I have just tried to gather all the silver paint I can but what we found in the end to work the best or give the most like shiny results was to use all clad in chrome but you can't just put this all clad directly onto the leather because you need a surface that is black and super glossy for it to look its best what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use super like extra black stain with some universal clear coat on top of that which is very glossy and when that's dry I'm gonna apply the all clad on top of that and to protect it because it it rubs off a bit easily we are going to use this all clad clear coat gloss on top and that kind of seals in the all clad and oh my god i can't wait to see how this is gonna look in full silver oh i'm so excited but i'm really not excited about taking all of this apart so let's just uh let's just get that over with I have crawled out of the basement because the lacquer has to dry for like 24 hours and in the meantime I'm gonna work on the cloak and the skirt which is really important for this cosplay and I got all these nice fabrics and especially this thick fabric because it's really really cold outside and we're gonna take lots of photos and shots in the snow and it's gonna be really cold so I'm basically making this cloak into a fancy blanket <laughs> but I think this can be pretty cool let's just get chopping chop chop This headband. <gasps> oh, hi, Astrid. So cute.
that was new, a bit uncomfortable, really fun, pretty refreshing actually. But now before we move on to assemble the leather armor, because yes, it's dry now, I encourage you to listen up because uh, this is an ad you actually want to hear about. An ad for World Anvil. World Anvil is a fantastic tool for anyone who wants to build their own world. They make it easy to keep tabs on your world through detailed timelines, extensive family trees, overviews of family relations and relations between corporations. That actually sounds a little bit like a rap. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> these diplomacy webs look really awesome. You can also make interactive maps of your world and your cities, and you can, for example, create trade routes and write articles on cities or articles on any other topic. Because World Anvil is just designed to be the specialized wiki you need to keep your world organized. And if you ever have a writer's block, their newest feature called World Building Prompts gives you suggestions for topics you can write about to spark your inspiration again. But that's pretty cool. World Anvil has a free version with all the major features, so make sure to check it out with the link down below. And back to the project. So we are done with the sewing, and I mean, the seams aren't perfect by any means, but look at this, it's my first cape. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. And I mean, we have the warm fabric on the inside, the satin and the beautiful border on the outside, and the fake fur on top that looks Oh, so real. But now the leather in the basement is dry and this is what I've been waiting for since I began this whole journey, putting the armor together. So let's go do the assembly. Are dead after hammering all of these hundred rivets. 200? I have no idea, I lost count. <laughs> but my god, I can't believe this is leather. Like, I kind of have to tap it just to make sure because I feel like it looks like metal. And I'm really happy with the finish on these and how they all look together. Laying them out here just makes my soul happy. <laughs> By the way, after all our projects, we make a like bonus video where we talk more in depth about our projects and also patrons and YouTube members can ask questions about our projects and we will answer them in that video. We do all kinds of random stuff. Like last week, we did this American candy taste test which was super fun and also kind of weird <laughs> so if you're interested in that make sure to check out our patreon which is by the way the best way to support us directly so we can keep making these videos and now for the thing i've been waiting three weeks to do i mean this has been the biggest project i've done in a really long time let's put this thing on Kneel for me, peasants! I want to wear this every day, to the store, to the mall, I don't care. I feel like a total badass and I want to wear nothing else. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Now let's have a look at the final result.